you saw the look on their face or their reaction or their response or some of the feelings that you that you have what are some of the feelings you think they felt you can open your eyes so Shout out some words. What are some words that you felt? Satisfaction. Satisfaction. Joy. Miss. What was that last one? Miss. Bless. What else? Love. Love. Gratitude. Gratitude. What else? Fulfillment. Humble. Humble. Anybody else? Happy. Happy. Generous. Generous. Cool, we have your list. So, <clears throat> these are feelings that you had, right? Are these good or bad? Good. good, right? You received these, yet you gave. Isn't that interesting? I want you to think of longevity as a gift. As the gift you gave that person you brought to mind earlier. Think about what longevity has to offer. That could be the same as the gift that you gave to that person, stranger, family member, spouse, child, parent. Give us to receive. So when we give, we receive. Hope enough other people get what they want, you'll automatically get what you want. So longevity is a gift, and it's our opportunity to give it. And why am I talking about this? Because I, over the last seven years, eight years in network marketing, it's not quite 40. <laughs> However, I've noticed a few things, and one of, the, one of the things that I've noticed is that people get caught up in the doing. Like, what do I need to say? You know, what should I do with this person? Or how should I talk to this person? Right? <laughs> They're all nodding their heads. How do I approach so-and-so? How do I approach my cousin, you know, my mom, right? <clears throat> we often get caught up in the doing, and we forget that what we're doing is giving a gift. So, what kind of person do you have to be to give a gift? Generous. What else? Loving. What else? Servant. Servant. What else? Joyful, happy, humble. Mike's got it. <laughs> there you go. So, so these are who you are. This comes first. Because if I'm going to give a gift, I've got to be a loving, a generous, a servant. I've got to be humble and, and you know, full of gratitude and all these things that involve who I am as a person, who I'm being, and every one of you, right? And then comes the do. So, don't get caught up in the do-do, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the proverbial joke. Because it's really about how we are, how we're being. Are we generous? Are we giving of ourselves? Because to give 
is to receive. And so to give longevity as a gift is to give yourself a gift, to give your family the gift of residual income and time and health and energy. So to give is to receive. And the being happens before the doing. Be, do, and then the last part is Must be before we can do, and must do before we can have. I like to say, come from, coming from a place of love, coming from generosity, coming from satisfaction. There's a great quote that my beautiful wife Nikki shared with me the other day, and it's that you don't have to go looking for love if it's where you're coming from. And uh, I believe that's true. You made so, <laughs> what? She made that up. And my house. She didn't make that up. Okay. Yeah, she got that from our good friend Tony Robbins. Okay. So, uh, say again, Joel. You don't have to go looking for love if it's where you're coming from. For generosity, right? Or for fulfillment, right? Mm -hmm. Not to go looking if it's where you're coming from. So this, I say, this is the come from. Do is to get done. Have is the prize won. Come from, get done, prize won. And uh, that is from me, by the way. All right, Bill Molly on that one. Uh, so, so yeah. So we, if, we, if we focus on this, and um, from, wow, what a testimony that Nick gave um, about his life and his respect for Scott and Juliet and, and this company and, and what a honor and a blessing it is for all of us to be a part of this company. I mean, it's amazing. It's incredible. I said, you know, last year at Leadership Mastery, I said, if this is your first experience in network marketing, your first company, the first time you've ever been involved in this industry, you, my friend, are blessed. You, my friend, are, I mean, you've got it made. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, um, so it's amazing to hear Nick's testimony of Scott and how who he is has impacted what he has, right? Who he is has impacted what he has. And of course, let's not forget the doing because who you are impacts what you do and how you do it. And then later comes the having, right? So does everybody, does that resonate with you guys? Yes. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. So to give is to receive, and um, you don't need to go looking for something if it's where you're coming from. So come from a place of love, come from a place of generosity, of kindness, of, of service, and you know, be, be the change. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. And uh, that is my message to pass along to all of you. So I appreciate you all, and let's get this party rolling.